Backcountry is a 2014 Canadian film written and directed by Adam MacDonald. The film falls within the thriller genre, revolving around themes of nature, survival, and the challenges humans face in the wilderness. The narrative unfolds around a camping trip initiated by Alex, Jeff Roop, a farmer, and his girlfriend Jen, Missy Peregrine. What initially appears to be a romantic getaway gradually transforms into a harrowing struggle for the couple as they become lost in the Algonquin Park wilderness. This adventure takes them through a series of challenges, including navigating through the dense forest, foraging for food, encountering wild animals, and battling exhaustion. The story delves into the physical and emotional resilience of the couple, testing their limits against the unforgiving elements of nature. The journey through Algonquin Park serves as a backdrop for a narrative that explores the brutality of the wilderness and the vulnerability of humans when confronted by the raw forces of nature. The film follows Aaron Ralston, portrayed by James Franco, as he embarks on a solo canyoneering expedition in the remote and desolate Utah wilderness. During his exploration of Blue John Canyon, a boulder unexpectedly dislodges and falls, pinning Aaron's right arm against the canyon wall. Despite his initial attempts to free himself, Aaron realizes the severity of his situation when he cannot budge the massive rock. As the days pass, Aaron faces the harsh realities of his predicament. He has limited supplies, including a small amount of water and food. To survive, he must make difficult decisions, rationing his resources and using his equipment creatively. The isolation and the desperation of his situation lead Aaron to reflect on his life, relationships, and the choices he has made. The Day After Tomorrow is a 2004 disaster film directed by Roland Emmerich. The story revolves around climatologist Jack Hall, played by Dennis Quaid, who must navigate a series of catastrophic weather events triggered by global warming. The film begins with climatologist Jack Hall, presenting his research on the dangers of climate change to the United Nations. His warnings about the potential consequences of global warming, including a new ice age, are initially dismissed. However, as extreme weather events start occurring around the world, Jack's predictions become a terrifying reality. The Finest Hours is a 2016 American disaster film directed by Craig Gillespie, based on the true story of the SS Pendleton rescue mission that took place in 1952. The film portrays the heroic efforts of the U.S. Coast Guard to save the crew of an oil tanker that split in half during a severe storm. The story is set in February 1952 off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. A massive nor'easter, one of the worst storms in New England's history, wreaks havoc on the seas. The SS Pendleton, a T-2 tanker, is caught in the storm and splits in two, leaving the surviving crew members stranded on the stern section of the ship. Meanwhile, at the Coast Guard station in Chatham, Massachusetts, boatswain's mate first class Bernie Weber, played by Chris Pine, is ordered to assemble a crew for a daring rescue mission. Despite the treacherous conditions, Bernie and his three-man crew set out on a small lifeboat, the CG-36500, to reach the stranded Pendleton crew. Knights of the Zodiac, also known as Saint Seiya, is a Japanese manga and anime series created by Masami Kurumada. The story revolves around young warriors known as the Saints, who are the champions of the Greek goddess Athena. These Saints wear mystical armor known as cloths and possess extraordinary abilities. The narrative begins with a group of orphans training in Greece to become the next generation of saints under the mentorship of the elderly master, Kido Mitsumasa. Each saint is bestowed with a cloth representing a particular constellation, and their duty is to protect the earth from divine threats and malevolent forces.